Then their coaching staff strode out, and they also looked uh, reasonably confident. Yes. And and, that, and how would you uh, describe the look of that confidence, Gary? What uh, what sh- pricked your eyes? Shoulders back, real s- sort of half swagger, and then I had the uh, Nikons yep. on the St Kilda race. And the last man out is a man who joins us now, and we appreciate him giving us some time on what we're sure is going to be a really busy night. Danny Frawley, the part-time defensive coach for St Kilda, being good enough to join us. Danny, thanks for your time. Oh, great intro, Gary. No, it's, uh... um, now, you've got a back group down there that's young and impressionable, and to have a man of your experience and knowledge is going to be enormously satisfying. Do you work mainly with... Delaney and Fisher, the big two, or do you spread your knowledge around the whole group? No, we try and spread our knowledge around. Not that there's much there, guys, around the, the main group. But look, as a defensive group, they've been going okay at the moment. And obviously, we're going to have their hands full tonight with Jesse White and young Galt coming in, Brian, and, and big Travis Cloak. So it's not a matter of uh, who they play on, it's how we go about it. Now, Daniel, going back a few months, um, you had a choice to go and uh, coach Hawthorne in a defensive manner or come to this team here tonight, St Kilda. Why Why did you pick the Saints? Look, it was about the challenge, BT, and I, I think for the first time for for about five or six years, the Saints obviously nearly got one in 2009 and 10, but since then it's been, it's fair to say, up and down like a yo-yo on what their plan has been. And it was all about the future for the Saints. Look, we're, we're going to have our ups and downs, of course. If they can maintain a consistent <laughs> effort. That's not the glass eye up there, is it? Oh, oh, come on, Spud. What do you want me to do? Spud. Well, I'll tell you what, Warrior, don't you start. I watched the footy show last night when Gary's... Stop talking. Seriously. Hey, Warrior, when you walked in with that coat on, she's that was a bad idea. Hey, Gary, you got to be talking seriously hey warrior when you walked in with that coat on jeez that was a bag of laughs. What I want. What have you been talking about for the last five minutes? I've had more fun when I got kicked in the grill. JB, I want, to, oh. I want to know who we're interviewing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, shut up, Brian. Oh, oh. Real serious, straight up who, and down. Simon oh. Davis, oh. who is this guy? Oh. Yeah, great oh. question from you too, Warrior. Jeez, you put a lot of work into that, didn't you? Oh. Jeez, yeah. You must have spent all day oh. with oh. a break here, Blake. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. I'm trying my best down here. Oh, oh. 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 Yes, what? <laughs> Come on, Gaz. I know, you, I know you got a good credit last night, but that's enough. Come on. Oh, oh mate. We, we tried to keep it going for as long as yeah, we could, we buddy. Did. I Point tried it. to get enough cliches in there. to. So, I wonder when it was going to break, actually. Cliches. I was <laughs> thought, uh, Chief, I thought it would have broke a lot earlier than this. Uh, I'm sort of standing there come thinking... Come on, Daniel. The cliché too, but How are they going to... Yeah, that's right. How, um, <laughs> I can't believe you've lasted this long before uh, you broke it up. Smart, I had to do a lot of boundary work in my time, and uh, you were coaching Richmond at that time, and this has taken me back to that. <laughs> this is how you used to roll with me yeah. back in the day. Well, guess what, JB? What? I'm not on the green stuff, and nor, nor will I. Smarty boy. Yes. What if... What? <laughs> That's... Come but, on, Warrior. Give come some on, warrior. respect, Warrior. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a clip tomorrow, yeah, Warrior. You oh. Will. oh, as opposed to other Saturdays. <laughs> what yeah. if Luke Delaney right now yells out and says, Bud, <laughs> come here, I've got a question. I will not be walking out on the ground. Oh, come on, oh, come but, on, Spud. No, but, but, JB. What happens if you win by two points, last kick of the night? Uh, we saw one uh, one man come out on the green stuff last week that perhaps wasn't a coach. Mm, that's yeah. it. Uh, and uh, the excitement might just get the better of you. You might go out there. Come on. BT, you know me better than that, mate. The main reason I wouldn't go out there to give you guys something to talk about <laughs> for the next two weeks. So... <laughs> I'm well aware of the eyes that are pointed at me right here, right now, but no, very much in the background, as we would say, like a dag on a sheep's ass I am, so uh, that, that's about the, the role I play. Don't take any credit for the wins, and don't take too much credit for the losses either, but just a, a little helping hand, Brian. That's it, brother. You're looking good in that St Kilda yeah, day, uh, set tight. up there, real I'd, tight. I'd go uh, back to the property, Stuart. Nicky Roberts yeah. I must admit the boys. <laughs> I must Come admit, on. you've tightened I, them up. No, I, I can see the arms. Well, but, oh, 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 you've taken that in a couple of well, notches. There's a half a cobra there for you, Joe. Oh, 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 he's he's, he's just a half a cobra he's, there. He's, he's yeah. wearing a medium. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit tight. I must yeah, admit, Brian. Uh, uh, get stuck in, Spud. Thanks nah, for chatting to good us. Good on you, Have a good night. See you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, boys. He maintained the rage for a long time. Oh, did he go some straight up and down? I thought you guys were joking. (laughs) 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 (laughs